Well, joining us live from New York with more on Donald Trump's surprising win is VOA election correspondent Mary Alice Salinas. And uh, Mary Alice, uh, you know, we want to first go back to last night. We know uh, as um, uh, Clinton is speaking right now, but uh, tell us about that acceptance speech and what things felt like in New York. It was, uh, you felt the, the momentous moment. Uh, a lot of the supporters were really reacting very well to this sort of conciliatory tone that uh, Mr. Trump took that night. So there was a lot of welcome reaction there. The jubilation is pretty hard to describe. It just escalated throughout the evening. Uh, and, and so there was... Uh, there wasn't the sense of shock, I think, that, that you saw around the nation. A lot of the supporters there were saying, we knew this was there. We, we didn't believe the polls. We saw the support. And, um, and they figured this is a historic moment that will be looked at for many, many years to come. And a very different tone, right? Uh, from a man who, for all those months, people expected to be kind of always hard and brass. And, but it sounded so different, right? Well, he, he, he said that he was going to bring the country together, and that is something that everybody's turning to right now, around the world as well as in this country. So already President Obama this morning gave him a call, uh, offered his congratulations. He is expected to come to the White House on Thursday, and this White House um, has been preparing for the transition the whole time. And, and, and the president has said, no matter who it is, we're going to do the best we can to make sure that there is a smooth and peaceful transition of power. So there's a lot to talk about. A lot of people around the world are looking to see how, in fact, Mr. Trump is going to act based on the comments on the road, uh, on the campaign trail. Uh, some say very divisive and uh, very worrisome to leaders all across the world, from the Asia Pacific to Europe to Latin America. So uh, there's a lot that still needs to be determined. He needs to work on putting together the transition team. That's no small thing. I, uh, my understanding is that Clinton's team actually was further along in that process. So there's a lot on Mr. Trump's plate this morning. And very quickly, on the streets of New York, we know that was a stronghold of Hillary Clinton. What was the mood as you, you know, moved around? Well, it's interesting this morning on the way here, there was a huge crowd uh, at the hotel uh, where I, uh, some of the media are staying, and um, there was a huge long line. It was a very somber crowd. They were there to uh, support their candidate as she gave uh, remarks after, after this stunning defeat last night. Um, it was much more subdued than the crowd I was around last night, of course, uh, but the crowd was huge. Um, media was lined up all around this hotel, police as well. So it's, I think everyone is still trying to digest what happened, and it's going to take a long time to figure it all out. Indeed. But the voters have spoken. The voters have spoken, and then it's onward. And the message is clear. Thanks a lot, Mary Elise Salinas.